In this uh, example, we're going to demonstrate how you can simulate a tri-state logical checkbox. So a tri-state checkbox is a checkbox that is either checked or unchecked if the value in the field is true or false, but is uh, uh, has the special indeterminate state if the value in the field is a null value. So you can see we have a SQL uh, a table here, and this particular SQL table has a field called uh, ship same and uh, if we look at it we can see that for the first record here and the uh, fourth record the value for ship same is a null value but all of the other values either have a zero or a one in it so if we look here we can see there there's there's the indeterminate value and there's also the indeterminate value so uh, so the first thing we need to do is realize that there is no such thing really in HTML as a three-state um, checkbox. You can only simulate it through some JavaScript. So if you actually go to Google and you uh, uh, do a Google search on um, three-state checkboxes, you'll find, uh, for example, uh, here has a page that I found. And you can see here that it says you cannot make a, a checkbox indeterminate through HTML. You have to use JavaScript. And the JavaScript that you use is by setting the checkbox's indeterminate value. So if we go back here and we look at uh, this uh, button over here, which I've just hand-coded, uh, we can see here that if we look at this button, we'll see that what this button is doing is um, getting a pointer to the uh, checkbox field. So it's using the grid alias uh, dot v dot r1 dot dot r and then the row number and then dot ship same. So this here gives me a pointer to the checkbox control in the current row and then we're just setting checkbox dot indeterminate equals true. So uh, if we go here and um, for example we go to this field over there and click it you can see we made that checkbox indeterminate. So what we would like to do now is actually have this action of this button hap happen automatically when the row is rendered. So what we want to do is when the row is rendered check to see if the data in this field is null and if it is null then execute the JavaScript that we generated by uh, by hand over here. So in order to do that we're going to go here to the um, server side events and we're going to go to the on existing row render event. So this is the um, event that fires each time a row in the grid is rendered and um, you can see here in the help for this event handler that you can get a pointer to the data in the current row by looking at e.rowData. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that if e.rowData and then use the data is null function to see whether the data in the ship same uh, field is null and then if it is null then we're going to write some JavaScript, we're going to construct some JavaScript using the syntax that we experimented with um, on that button and we're going to emit that JavaScript um, each time a row is rendered. So you can see here that we get told that if we set the e.javascript property then we can uh, uh, emit some optional JavaScript each time the row is rendered. So here we're saying that if this uh, flag is true, in other words, if the data in the current ship in the current row ship same field is null, then we're going to basically execute some JavaScript. So here's the uh, var checkbox, and then e dot temple dot alias is the um, alias for the current grid. Then e dot row number is the uh, row number, and then of course ship same is the field. So this here. This line of JavaScript gives us a pointer to the ship same field, to the ship same control in the current row, and then we're just saying uh, checkbox dot indeterminate equals true, and then we emit that JavaScript. So when we go here to working preview, we can see now that uh, row one and row four display uh, are displayed as uh, indeterminate. Thanks very much for watching.